Thanks for checking out Scotty's Hobbies. Today we are looking at this 4L60E transmission. We're going to go over a few codes today. I'm going to make a couple videos of a few codes that I get commonly asked about. Uh, first off, we're going to start off with the P0785. That's your 3-2 shift solenoid malfunction. Here's your 3-2 shift solenoid right here on my 4L60E. I believe this is out of 01. Um, 5.3 engine was connected to it. So here's your 3-2 solenoid. There's a few things that we need to check. We need to check for continuity at the plug. So go ahead and disconnect your sensor, sorry, your solenoid. Now if this transmission was in the vehicle, you can check all this in the vehicle. So if it was in the vehicle, I would use my power probe and check for continuity. I do it this way so you can see. Check for continuity on each of your prongs. If you get no continuity at all on either of these prongs, your harness is bad, and that's what the malfunction is. I do highly recommend getting a power probe. This is a power probe two. Um, I'm trying to get a power probe three. I'm just lazy, I guess, don't want to buy one. But these are super helpful in diagnosis. Uh, check for a link in the description below to buy the power probe two and three. Highly recommend the three. It shows the voltage on it. So what you do, just check for voltage at your plug on both sides. Like I said, this one's not in the car, so I'm not going to see anything because it is an open circuit. So if that tests out good, and we know our harness is good already. Now we need to start looking at the shift solenoid itself. First, we're going to check for ohms of resistance. The allowable ohms of resistance for this solenoid on the 96 and up, I believe, around there, is right between 12 and mid-20 ohms resistance. I think it's like 25 or 28. So you're going to check the ohms of resistance using a voltmeter or an ohm meter or a DVM, DVOM meter. Let's get this so where you can see it. Where might that be? Who knows? All right, so you can see the ohms of resistance. I got a little bit on there naturally. You're going to just touch both prongs. Maybe. Oh, I don't have this on right. Haha. -ha. Ohms of resistance. Good job paying attention. So 21.3 ohms of resistance. All I'm doing is touching the terminals in there. So this one's in the allowable spec. If you get no ohms of resistance, your um, circuit is open inside there somehow. And your solenoid itself is bad. If you're out of that 12 to 25-ish ohms resistance, if you're out of that 12 to 20 ohms of resistance um, window, then your solenoid itself is bad. Another easy way to check for continuity in your solenoid with your power probe again. So I'm going to just clip on to one of the prongs. When the power probe touches ground, I get a ground. With this clip on and hooked to a battery, I'm giving the solenoid ground. So I'm just checking for continuity. Right here, I am touching the other prong. And you can see the green light coming on. So that's showing that ground is going through the sensor and the sensor, sorry, solenoid. By this, it looks good. So while this is checked out, everything looks fine so far. Now what you need to do is pull the shift solenoid itself out. I'm going to push it in. Get your little clip out. So if you find a bunch of debris all right here on these screens, might as well go ahead and, let's see, it's getting kind of dirty. This transmission was actually toast. Uh, you might as well plan on getting a rebuild because you probably have some more particles inside the transmission. Continue on by taking the spring and the shift valve itself out. 
This still could be done while in the car. Maybe. There it goes. So now here's your shift valve itself and a spring. Make sure these are all cleaned off. If they are duty, duty, dirty, go ahead and use mineral spirits to clean these off. Reinstall the same way you took them out. You want to Make sure the spring moves freely in there. If your solenoid is good, I'd actually probably go ahead and replace it. If I'm going to take it out. Put your solenoid in. Your clip in. And that. Now that you got this clipped back in, you should have your P0785 code taken care of, hopefully. If you didn't find the problem in that little diagnosis, then I would start looking more towards the TCM, Transmission Control Module, um, or something wrong with uh, the wiring harness controlling this. So with this video, we checked your harness, checked resistance, and for continuity in the sensor, checked the sensor itself on the screens, cleaned the valves, and that should take care of your P0785 code. Like I said, if it comes back after this, um, We'll check your wire. Probably going to get a little bit more difficult for you, but hopefully this fixes your problem. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you on the next, hopefully, helpful video.